watching Let's Chat. That's a lot of angels, so more than usual. Yes, that's correct, yes. The need is much higher this year. It's very, yeah. The need's higher this year. Inflation is an issue, and so we're seeing a lot of families that normally wouldn't come to us come to us for assistance this year. It's a tough time this year for a lot of families. How can people help and adopt these angels? Great, so we have several locations that people can adopt from us. We um, have the uh, several malls, so we have Hamilton Place Mall, we have uh, East uh, Northgate Mall, you can come here at the Salvation Army at 822 Macaulay Avenue, and then all the Walmart Supercenters starting November 15th. All right, so when can they start collecting angels or adopting those angels? So all those locations, the malls and here, you can get them now, uh, and then Walmart on November 15th. All right, very yeah. exciting. So how does the Angel Tree program work for those who haven't participated before? So the way that works is we have angels that hang on a Christmas tree. Those angels are individual children or adults. We do uh, 12 and under for kids and 60 above for adults. And so those, those you can come and you can select an angel from a Christmas tree. It says their age, their name, and then the wishes that they would like for Christmas. And there's also seniors up for adoption, senior yes. citizens. Yes, we have a 60 and above, and they usually have a lot of needs, you know, uh, blankets and house shoes or just um, hygiene items that they need for Christmas, and so we help provide that as well. And you can adopt one of those. And you just drop everything off at the same location where you picked it up? Correct, yes. You can drop it off here at 822 Macaulay Avenue at the mall locations or any of the Walmarts. And when is the deadline for folks to, well, the last day for them to, one, adopt an angel, and two, when's the last day they bring all the items in? Okay, so the last day you can adopt is December 5th, and then the very next week will be the last day that you can bring the angels back to us at those locations. And then you distribute them later to all the families. Correct. So distribution days are going to be December 15th and 16th. And those are a lot of fun. I've been to a couple of those yes. over the years. And it's so much fun seeing the joys in families' faces when they get those items for their kids. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing day. It's a great experience for volunteers that come out. Um, but it's also just great to see their faces and, and the things, you know, that they didn't expect to receive for their family this Christmas. And it makes you feel good to help those in need, of course. Of course, yeah, it always does. It brings a smile on everyone's faces. Thank you so much, Captain Danielle. And again, you hear, you can stop, start adopting angels at several locations today. We'll be right back. I can't believe we just paid for service. And the stupid thing is broken again. Hey, you should have called River Tech. I did. Great service doesn't cost, it pays. Trust your comfort with River Tech Heating and Air Conditioning. Call River Tech. It's hard to stop a train. Not everybody gets to change the lives of others for the better. But you can. With a career as a practical nurse. The practical nursing program at Chattanooga College will prepare you to become an LPN in as few as 12 months and you'll learn from compassionate experts who have centered their working lives around helping practical nurses grow and succeed. Are you ready to make a difference? Visit chattanoogacollege.edu today. Chattanooga College, because a small college can make a big difference. take it. Love vintage toys? We buy and sell vintage toys, comics, and all things pop culture at IE Toys in Cleveland, Tennessee, inside Bradley Square Mall. Looks like your thingamajig isn't turning your whatchamacallit. You're going to need a whole new system replacement. Oh. Call River Tech. That's what I did. Great service doesn't cost, it pays. Trust your comfort with River Tech Heating and Air Conditioning. It's hard to stop a train. You're watching Let's Chat. Hello, 
<laughs> Welcome back to this special Friday edition of Let's Chat on this November 11th. It is Veterans Day, and again, thanks to all of you veterans for all of your service. We thank you also to Sherlise Lundy. Sherlise is the Volunteers and Special Events Coordinator here for the Salvation Army in Greater Chattanooga. Hi, Sherlise. Hi, Chip. We're going to talk a little bit about the importance of these the red kettle bells that we're going to be hearing a lot of between now and Christmas. Tell us a little bit about the need for folks to ring the bell and the need for folks to get out and volunteer in non-bell ringing capacities. So for bell ringing, just an hour of your time, maybe two hours will make a big difference in someone's life. Uh, the Rick, uh, the volunteerism for bell ringing funds the year-round programs for the Salvation Army. How many bell ringers are you in need of this holiday season? We need at least 200 bell ringers for the season. Wow, that's a bunch. Yes, we need to raise a lot of money so we can help those in need. And how long have you been taking part in the Salvation Army's activities? So I've been with the Salvation Army for a little over a year now. This is my second Christmas. How is this a more heartwarming job than other positions you've had in the past? Uh, this is more heartwarming because I actually get to see the difference that we're making in the community, um, not just for media or just for, you know, telling people about these things. I actually get to see the difference in the uh, change we're making in others' lives. All right, what about other volunteer opportunities that don't involve ringing a bell? I know you need a bunch of folks for that. Tell me exactly some of the positions you need for that. So we do need volunteers for our Angel Tree program. We need volunteers to encourage the public to adopt at the malls. We also need volunteers to help process those gifts so that we can give those to those families in need. Because for a number of years, I've been over at the warehouse on those distribution days. Um, organized chaos is probably the best way to put it, but it is incredibly organized. Yes, it is incredibly organized. We want to make sure that that runs smoothly so the families can get what they need for Christmas. you have any idea of roughly how many gifts the Salvation Army here in Chattanooga alone gave out last year? Um, it could be over 3,000 gifts. I think it was a lot more than that. It was just amazing to see the number of gifts and the smiles on everybody's faces while they were helped give them out. Yeah, so we need our volunteers because we do have a lot of gifts to give out to our families. We serve over 2,000 angels. And you're going to be surprised at how heartwarming you feel if you volunteer. It doesn't matter whether it's ringing a bell or whether it's helping out at the warehouse or the other things that they do here at the Salvation Army. You guys have a need year in and year out. Yes, we do. We also need volunteers to help with our Thanksgiving meal delivery. You can volunteer and register by visiting csarmy.org slash volunteer. She's good. She read my next question. <laughs> Tell me again that website. It's csarmy.org slash volunteer. All right. Sounds good. Uh, so nice to meet you, Shirley. We hope we'll be talking to you a lot more between now and the holidays and beyond. Okay. Thank you, Chip. All right. Time now for another Red Kettle Challenge, I think. And we're going to hear a little bit more about this with Kay Blevins and a challenge from NAB electric K. Okay. Welcome back everyone. We are learning more today about how local businesses are giving back to the Salvation Army and joining us now to tell us all about how their business is giving back is Kayla Bowman and he is telling us more about how they are making a difference right here in the Tennessee Valley. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well. Thanks so much for being here with us. First of all, tell us a little bit about why you wanted to be part of the Red Kettle program. Absolutely. Well, Napco Electric has been a company in the Chattanooga area in the southeast United States for over 60 years and we've been privilege to be able to partner with in, with companies such as uh, Salvation Army and the differences they make in local communities is something that's near and dear to our hearts. So that's why we decided that the Red Kettle Challenge is a great way we can plug in. Absolutely. Now who do you all want to challenge this year? This year we're going to challenge again CED Chattanooga to see if they can beat us out this year. Last year we won. We're hoping this year we can win again, but we'll see if they put up a better fight. What makes this program so special to you and each and every person at your business? I think a lot of people are, everybody sees the Salvation Army, but it touches so many lives in a local community aspect. And that's something that we want to partner with. But also it's easy for us to give back in many ways than just financially. And we're a company that we always believe that's a good thing to do. Absolutely. The Salvation Army is always a company that helps so many during the holiday season. We appreciate what your company is doing to give back during this time. Thank you. All right. And if you want to do a Red Kettle Challenge of your own, let us know at News 12. Let the folks here at the Salvation Army know. And we have recruited several folks here as we're doing our broadcast live to do a little rendition of a Christmas carol to get us into the Christmas holiday season. Ladies, you ready? 
<laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Dashing, Dashing through, through the snow, snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, go laughing all the way. Ha ha ha! Bells on my tail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is, is to ride and sing your sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Nice job. Beautiful.